Okay, so I know I made a lot of mistakes last time, but I definitely saved down there. I know that I did. Am I not allowed to save in a forest? I do not grasp. Uh, and I know you didn't see me. I went down and saved after I exited uh, the city. And yeah, I just made my way down there on my own. I really want to apologize for last time, because I just don't know what came over me. Somehow, I didn't realize it was paused the whole time. I, or, I guess not the whole time, but you know what I mean. I still haven't actually gone back and looked to see how much of it was paused. Ugh, how about that, huh? Uh Just attack wherever the weapon is next to, or whatever's next to the weapon. You know the goblin mage is holding the weapon in its right hand. Ergo the when it turns invisible, the floating weapon is going to be to the right of the goblin mage. You know, just bear with me here. Come on. Oh, you frustrated their little parakeets, huh? <laughs> Spells always look so cool in this series. So, look, he can steal while it's in How does that make sense? to do this sometimes. But yeah, I don't know what happened. I saved outside because uh, I, I talked to uh, Muguo, whatever his name is. Muguli dude. Except my highest level person is 50. Or 50, I wish. 20. Here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to pause this again. Attempt fate. Or just come back to it while I show you that Dagger has hit her uh, limit. And Oh, really? I wanted to see Rama being summoned while she was in her limit break. But come on, her trance. Yes, her trance. Lena has learned clear-headed. Well... Good for Queena. And I mean it. We can all stand to be clear-headed. That's back to being lost. It's gonna... Okay! Now, I'm making sure I'm looking right at the record thing. It's red and it says record and it has a little circle next to it as opposed to the little pause line. Here we go. Finally, the village of the Pinty Hits. I think we live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. Or I could just follow that asshole I just saw right there. Okay. It couldn't be this soon. Where there are owls, where there are no owls. 
Now there's owls all over the place. Uh, of course, having owls in the forest would really just depend on the canopy, not the side brush, wouldn't it? Not side brush, that's not the word I'm looking for. Ooh, that's a mushroom. Saying that with my dad in the next room, he loves cooked mushrooms and thinks I'm weird for not liking them. I don't, it's just, they, they're bitter and slimy and gross. There's a couple of exceptions, though. I like um, hot and sour soup. Which usually has button mushrooms. I, I don't really care for button mushrooms. But... <clears throat> um, what I like is wood fungus. Or black fungus, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, high drops. Let's see. I can add level 20. Ah, yeah, I could go for another. I could go for another uh, attack there. Oh, Queena! You don't know your own strength, do you? Queena must not like her. Uh, well, at least Queen will learn something. You know, I learned something today. Cushion. Oh, wow, well, I just get a stronger vest. Oh, even if it doesn't teach me anything. Uh, oh, well. I hate this forest. Oh. Blathers, what are you doing here? Oh, this is something I'm gonna want to know, isn't it? And Zalette. against wind, you're an owl! You fly! I think you have a big round body, right? Considerably less than last time. Just see. 
Did Pimpin do anything to clean him? Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, really? That high? Oh, well. It's gonna go after BB's attack does, so... I wish you would just display the hit points on the screen. Like, at all the time. Even if I have to do scan first to, like, to know that information. Oh, jeez. Okay, that must have done damage because I get... Cleta would have been covered by the, uh... Uh... By the, um... This thing. The box I'm looking at. steal anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big hero boy. Couldn't steal a thing. Thanks. Hey, Garnet. Does it bother you that Queen is a better white mage than you are? <laughs> Come on. Go faster. Okay. Huh. Neat. And here, man, there we go. Tastes bad. All of that time, and it just tastes bad. Quina, you picky little creature here. Okay, jelly. Patient. That's good. Uh I'll... Here we go, about time. They gotta do that every single time they wanna go back to their house, huh? So it's funny, because their location isn't exactly a secret. You go talk to the dwarves and they'll be like, Oh yeah, the pretty hits the super in. Blah 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 blah. Vaguely Scottish, vaguely Canadian. Yet da 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 da. Humans, what's wrong? Ah, humans run. Wait. Eh. Did you see them? Yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Fifi? Went that way, but... Uh, uh, hey! Village! Village always have good food. I go fine! Uh, you people all... Humans are here! Okay. Baby, what's going on? Huh? Huh? Yep. Why you run away? I'm not doing anything. Why are you hiding? What are you hiding? Oh, it's 
aroma. It's delicious aroma. Yeah. doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria on the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that we had to cross the ocean. Or, you know, you could have come to live in a marsh. I see. So, um, what's this? This, this is, uh, what's the word? You're right, a cemetery. A, a cemetery? So, underneath the ground? Yes, our friends are buried under here. But, why? That's because... Uh, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day... Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows lots of things told me that this is what death was and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Was it a disease? Or was he hurt? Tell me why. I love how it fades out right there. Like we the players are not privy to this information. So basically, you sell the same garbage everyone else does. <coughs> mm. Mm. Okay, finally I'm getting some stuff that isn't the same crap everyone else has. to the owl. It's just sitting there. Oh, there's a basket of pears on the front porch. And now there aren't. Huh. think about using us. Y you mean about Vivi? That's not true. I it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk. So, besides, I'm here to stop the person who is sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies! All humans are liars. You're lying. But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. Uh, okay, jeez, fine. Let's save the owl. 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 Let's save the owl
<laughs> it says that I played for 25 hours on my Steam profile, but here it says 19. That's really weird. Hey, you want to eat too? Chicken bowling, very delicious. <laughs> We're never gonna give it to you. Uh, hey, why there? That's this guy. Is she here with you? Can you take him somewhere else? Where can I? It says that I can try to play cards with this guy. Can I take Lena with me? Uh... Yeah, Athena, are you popping? You make a little popping. Oh, what's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? That's a joke. Is it scary? It's, it's something funny, right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. Yeah, that's right. You're unbelievable, you know that? Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm going to look for him. Again! Not again. Yeah. Oh, finally a freaking synthesis shop. Ugh. Oh. I think there's stuff I don't actually have yet. Uh, really. All the stuff I can make is stuff I already have. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that was a treasure chest. It looked like it was like a little feather or something. I just took some savings. That's all I'm doing. Ah, two thousand gil. Awesome. <sighs> hey, Vivi? That's a pen. I wonder what it's like down there. I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Hey, how come you guys can all talk? I became aware one day under different circumstances. You became aware? How? No, not really. It's the same with me. I just woke up one day. And I was in the body of my next to me. This body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me who decided to escape together. We heard about this village. See. Oh, you want to play a card game? Yes. Sure, why not? Because everyone in the world plays this silly card game that's not nearly as good as Triple Dragon. Oh. What's this? Oh. From card, huh? <laughs> it 
It's not good nighttime yet, bird. I'm serious, it's not nighttime yet. Oh, goodness, golly. Freaking know what I'm doing. Take that back, huh? Ugh, talk about a zero sum game, huh? Where did the last. Ah! Chauncey! Uh, I apologize on behalf of my dad's dog. This is an end, but we're not ready to check you in. You know, I'm trying to talk to this guy. Why won't you let me talk to this guy? Maybe what's wrong? Huh? Oh. Uh, it's it's nothing. Something bad happened? All of our nature seem pretty nice. You know, once you actually get to know them. Nothing happened. Ugh, I'm hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, David, you're back. Where were you? You were very... Hey, you got tired, right, David? Yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to the forest and look for food. Let's rest. Hey, Phoebe just walked out. He's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. Hey, I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Phoebe's never met black mages like himself. What if they're being mean to him, saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of the village gathered to do something like that? Maybe, just maybe, to find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Oh. Yeah. A place to leave home. It pans up to the moon as he says that. <laughs> Hey, can you step home? What's the matter? Get full of sleep? <sighs> How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time. There you go, teasing me again. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Huh?
This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he remembered only in his dreams. He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. His parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left the home with his adopted father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah. That it might be a memory of his birth in an ocean, maybe. Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happen along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. He went back to the home of his adopted father. What do you think his father did when he came home? He welcomed him home. No way. Father raised his fist and beat the sunny lips so hard to raise. Why? I don't know. Do you know what surprised him even more? Father smiled at the beating of his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has it. Maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. And also, you didn't exactly make me very clear about... You didn't exactly... the. You didn't exactly make me feel good about them not making fun of him because you just described a situation where you got beat up. No, it's, that's for him to decide. Hello. Nice to see you again. I want to get asked you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. Um, seven of our friends recently stopped functioning completely. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to the stop. Well, everyone's lifespan is limited. After production, not after sentience. What do you feel? I don't know. I don't know. Fear. I don't want to stop. Maybe I'm going to run away from it. Living in the village with everyone else is the joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Is that the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. Oh. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Oh, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Kondipedi said there was a place called Sanctuary where egg trees were restricted. I think Miss Kusha said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there. And maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? Sis. If Vivi says he's staying behind... Oh, wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. Let's see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You know can leave me. I start. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I'm ginormous and pink. How can you forget me? Let's go, everyone. To Condé Petty and the sanctuary that lies beyond.
Oh, you're crap. Might as well buy another survival bed. Hey, buddy! See, look. There's golden pears right out there. Oh, and the, the porch ends. Here, it wraps around, and the pears are, um, are green. And you know what else is making you hot? Those ginormous robes. Those are what's making you hot, buddy. Honey, I'm right here! You kept talking all through the story parts, you know? Ooh! One of these little things. That's cool. What do you want? Oh, that's right. I have to answer trivia questions. Oh! What's going on? Need a bug. Oh, that's Ragtime Mouse that does the trivia. <laughs> that crop here, but... Anyway, uh... Oh, I expected it to disappear. Oh, wow, 20 AP, nice. Anyway, though, it's funny that he talks about seeing the blue lights. When I was a kid, I used to be absolutely obsessed with this book called Invasion of the Blue Lights. I have not been able to find it again. Um, I keep looking so many places. Nobody has it. So... I mean, heck, if anyone can look that up for me, if anyone can uh, heck me up with that book, it would be very, very much appreciated. I just remember the author's name is Glick. So, you know, uh, if anyone has something like that... Okay, huh. Ah. Mm. Oh, wait. Shit. I keep forgetting because it took me so long to actually be able to do that. plus 50%, or plus 10%. Still, it's still pretty good. The, it was about an alien invasion, and that's actually all I remember about it. There's another book that I remember being kind of similar, called Interstellar Pig, which I do have. And it's about this kid who's at this beach house, and he gets to know his neighbors, and they get him to play this board game called Interstellar Pig, and uh, it turns out that the neighbors are actually aliens, and the game is like a means of space warfare. It's really weird. I would just like basically pick the weirdest stuff off the shelves, the library. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> The library I go to, uh, is River Park. It was neat. It was this big square building, but, like, on the top it had this really tall roof. It was very unusual, with, like, a little skylight on the very top. Yeah, hi, bird! Are we? Should we just go and go tonight? We can't go tonight until I finish this, okay, bird? Because if I go upstairs to record, I don't get internet access, and then Steam kicks me off. 
And then I can't upload it anyway. Well, I don't know if Steam would actually put me. It's the weirdest thing. Upstairs, there is like... Uh, you get internet access in the bathroom, in my parents' room, uh, and possibly in the old guest bedroom. And um, there's like, there's three quote unquote guest rooms all side by side. And I have the middle one. And there's the one um, in the front that looks out over the, um, the driveway. Oh, goodness gracious. But yeah, for some reason, that one and mine don't get internet access. It's the weirdest thing. It's weird because they're all within... It's supposed to be like 65 feet of the, of the box, right? Of the... Uh, router. That used to be set up in the dining room. And it was freaking ridiculous. Uh. Uh. Now it's set up in the backmost room. And even though I swear that's within 65 feet, it... Uh, uh, this house is not set up well. Or rather the internet is. But it's also apparently the only... A uh, place in the house that they're allowed to set up the internet. Something to do. Oh, hello, Queena. We ain't gonna get a chance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wasting a perfectly good. Uh, oh well. What do you know? We ain't got a chance. La 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 la. Oh, so close. <sighs> Goodness, golly. Okay, finally, Rage of the Frickin' Gods mode! That's it! Rama, you old lazy bastard! Come on! Yeah, give me raspberry! Give me raspberry, Thiener! She's gonna raz. You gonna raz, bird? Uh. There, geez. It takes forever to do these battles. I don't remember the game ever being so slow. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Stop, bio, and drain. Finally, you get some good stuff. Donna Plains. <laughs> Let's save the bow. Well, I'm going to cut it right here, and in our next episode, we get married. Yay!